Hello everyone, my name is Tayen and in this short video I will showcase how to edit the geometry of a regular framework, add some loads to it, some supports, analyze it and compare different configurations of set framework. Uh, once we do that we will compare the different uh, analyses and uh, results of set frameworks. So we start with a new S-Frame uh, file and the first thing that we want to do is to add a grid for us to work and I go here to the edit grid button where I already have some pre-loaded uh, grids I'm going to go with this one with a thousand millimeters spaces and I am going to select a grid increment of 500 millimeters uh, and you will see why uh, later so I'm going to click here on OK and now I have this capacity of unlocking uh, the grids here and I'm going to count to one, two, three and on the fourth grid line I'm going to drag it uh, closer to the third one just so I can create more easily my members so I click here on the member definition tool and I go here with my base of uh, three meters and then the next one with three and a half meters that with the grid I have uh, done very easily and I just uh, continue with the rest of the framework. Once that this is done I go back and lock my grids so they don't move whenever I don't want to. Next up is to select all of my members and copy them into the clipboard. Once I have done that uh, I go to the clone multiple copies um, tool, I right click here and I'm going to click here and generate folders and I can set up the different increments that I want. So for this one, uh, in the delta Y, uh, I am going to introduce the height of the different stories. For this case, it's going to be 3,500 3, millimeters and I want four different stories. So once I do that, I click on OK. And as you can see, the different stories have been automatically created. Uh, they are outside the grid, but this is not a problem because we only used it for creating the first one. So I click here on select all of my structure and now I am just going to turn off my grid because I'm not going to be using it anymore. So I click on OK and here I have my four stories uh, new. Next up is to add uh, the properties of the sections that we have just Create. So I go here to the section properties tool, I right click on it and this dialog will appear where I can select from the steel database in this particular case um, from the Canadian code that I want to showcase today and I have a different uh, options of the sections. Uh, for more information on this we have other videos available but I'm just going to go with uh, this one for this particular exercise. So I click on OK. Uh, I select the section and I just make sure that all of my sections are off. all of my members have that section selected. Next up is the material properties tool where I just uh, make sure that uh, the aluminum uh, that I want to apply has the properties selected and then I select all of my members to that particular material. After that uh, I can add some supports, uh, so I click on the support tool and I select the different um, degrees of freedom that I want for a particular node and I just click on set nodes. With that done I can add a loading case and I, I'm going to go here to the new load case where uh, this dialog uh, will appear where I can edit the description of the load case. In this case, it's just going to be a lateral load. And I'm not going to add any gravitational factors or scales. And with that done, I just go to the joint load tool and I select the longitudinal um, direction on a positive um, way. So I will stay here on positive numbers. Uh, for 8,000 newtons uh, in this case, so I click on OK and after that I just click on the joint member that I want it to be added to. Now I am ready to run an analysis, so I click on Run Analysis and this dialog will appear. I click on OK and the Solver dialog uh, will finish 
A tells me that there are no errors on this one. So as you can see, uh, we have a big displacement with this uh, lateral load in here. Uh, this is a graphical results window. And I can click here on animate to see a representation of how the displacement will work. I can also take a look at the reactions, the actual forces that are magnified, the shear forces uh, for this particular case, um, and the uh, member stresses. We can see that this one is working in um, compression and the other one is working in tension. So um, next up, I'm going to change the configuration of the framework, uh, changing the members from a fixed fix, fix uh, release moment to a pin um, release moment. I'm going to do this with all of my members and with that done I am going to run another analysis. Now click on run, analysis, OK. And this time I can see that the solver is telling me that there are some FYI, some warnings that I need to take a look at. It's basically telling us that the structure is not um, stable, it's a rigid mode. Uh, the structure so basically it's crashing you can see that the displacement it's all over um, the place there are no uh, reactions um, nothing to showcase here on the actual force but that upright uh, position the shear forces and the moments are just not uh, right and the stresses on the members are just uh, not showcasing so basically it's crashing it's not a stable so now we will try a different configuration by adding some bracing to the framework. So we go to the member definition tool and we add uh, bracings from uh, all of the different stories. Um, we need to make sure that these uh, elements have assigned the same section properties and material properties. And after that, we can run a new analysis. Click on run, analysis, and then click on OK, where the solver uh, that is here on my second screen will tell me that there are no new errors. This time we click on OK and we can look at the displacement uh, that it's generating. We can see that it's a stable structure and uh, on the reactions tool and the actual forces, we can see that the bracing is actually working. Uh, executing the what it's supposed to do. Uh, there are no shear forces for this particular case, but um, the moments and the member stresses uh, tell us that the structure is working in a much more efficient way. So, um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.